help us understand where the earths are. Jeff? Well, thank you, Bill. So Bill mentioned, towards the end of his talk, Kepler-9, which is a system with three confirmed transiting planets. It is the only star known to have more than one transiting planet before today. And transiting planets are very, very valuable because that's the way we can get the sizes of the planets. And all the other 100 transiting confirmed planets prior to today were orbiting one per star. Kepler-9 had three. Now, if we can have my first slide, this emphasizes the 170 candidate multiple planet systems that Kepler has identified. The small dots are the stars with one candidate. The small blue circles and there are over a hundred of them, are the targets with two planetary candidates. The green, the red triangles, the 45 of them, or excuse me, the 135 red triangles represent the 45 targets with three transiting candidates. The 32 pink squares represent the candidates around the eight targets that have four candidates. So we've got a lot of stars with two, three, and even four candidates. If you look over towards the lower left, you'll see five pentagons. They represent the five candidates around one star which has five transiting planet candidates. But towards the center and a little off to the right in the figure, representing mid-sized planets at medium to long periods among our sample, that stand out those green hexagons. The only target that we see six signals, and those are no longer just candidates. We have confirmed that all six of them are indeed planets orbiting the same star, which we've named Kepler 11. Now, in the next slide, this just shows the position of Kepler 11. This is a sun like star. It's in the constellation Cygnus. It's approximately 2,000 light years from Earth. So, the light that Kepler is seeing from this star left the star around the time Caesar was making his conquests. Now, if we can have the video, this is a Kepler view of the system to begin. We see this target dimming like clockwork, but like a very special clock, one with six hands moving at six different rates.